Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. Just got off the line with Chris from Black Cat Systems. SDR Uno support is now added in DX Toolbox and the HF Weather Facts application. I'm going to show you guys real quick, literally five minutes ago, this was just released and I just got done testing it. I've been going back and forth with Chris for a number of hours. So thank you to Chris. Chris, big thumbs up to you, buddy. Uh, you definitely knocked it out of the park with this one. All right, so let's uh, let's bring HF Weather Facts here. Let's bring SDR Uno over here so you guys can see it. You're going to need a virtual serial COM port pair. So you can use COM0 COM or VSPE and just create a pair. One and two, SDR Uno can be uh, COM port one and the helper app, which I forgot to mention, is the UDP uh, Uno helper or Uno UDP. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go to properties. Let's go to open file location and I'll show you the readme real quick and it shows you enter the UDP receive port and the UDP send port and click on it and you're going to have to select your COM port also. So I have a pair here, one and two. Sorry if I'm going a little bit fast. I'm super, super excited about this. So we're going to launch the Uno UDP. We have it on COM2. We have the receive port as 58084. The UDP send port as 58083. Now we will launch HF Weather Facts. Grab the latest beta. And Chris also uh, informed me that the this will be the last beta release before the pricing changes for the special for this app so i have no involvement in the finances of this app uh chris reduced the price to ten dollars so in my opinion i don't want to upset anybody but in my opinion grab it now while you can for 10 bucks because this decoder is it's off the hook it's great especially well not especially it only decodes wefax but it does it so good all right, so we'll go into our preferences and we're going to match it. The UDP send port is going to be the receive port for Uno UDP and the UDP receive port is going to be the send port. So that's all good. That's in there. And let's launch SDR Uno, which is hiding behind here. We can minimize that. Now this will not work unless you have a virtual COM port pair. So COM0 COM or VSPE. If you look in uh, my video library here on the SDR Play Ham Guides channel or on the official SDR Play YouTube channel, there's multiple videos and PDFs to setting up a virtual COM port pair. VSPE is a paid for app, COM0 COM is a free app. So choose whichever one works best for you. So let's minimize this. We'll go into our settings. We'll go into our cat control. And as you can see, I have COM1. And in the Uno UDP, I have COM2. That's looking great. Let's make sure that that closed properly. Let's click play. Let's mute this. Now, it's not going to change the mode for you and it's not gonna change the filter width. So make sure you select upper sideband and 3K is fine or 2.8, but just three is good. Give yourself a little breathing room. Bring the HF weather facts to the foreground. Click on the schedule. And when you click on a frequency, it's going to tune it. As you see here, it tuned it. So let's see if we pick up any of these. We'll move that off to the side. Let's look at the spectrum. Let's zoom in. Zoom in a hair. And let's see, would help if we unmuted it. I'm definitely not gonna get Australia this, this late in the evening. And there we go, there's Boston, it tuned it. And let's take a look in here, click start. And there she goes. Let's stop that. 
All right, let's stop that. Let's clear this. And let's go back to the schedule. And let's see if uh, Port Reyes, California is up. And they are. Let's just take a quick listen. A little weak. And let's close this down. And that's basically it. Like I said, grab it now while you can. It's only $9.99, which is it's really an impulse buy. And you get, I don't know how long the updates last for. Maybe Chris can chime in on this video and let me know if the updates are lifetime or if they're for a year. I'm really not too sure. But definitely show some support to Black Cat Systems. Software is phenomenal. Finally works with SDR Uno. Next video, I'll show you DX Toolbox. And that's another really good app. But I'll give you a little quick sneak peek with that. This program is very good with propagation, with checking schedules, with checking the most usable frequency, the, the lowest usable frequency, grid maps, gray lines, solar data, the reports. Oh, it's just really good. But this one I'm going to have to do in a series because this gets deep. And there's a lot of stuff in here that I don't even know. So like if you go into the reports, it's going to give you the actual uh, propagation reports from different sources. It will give you graphical charts, uh, auroras, all kinds of stuff. So definitely check out Black Cat Systems. I'll see you guys in the next video. 73 for now.